You've probably heard of Product Hunt before. You know, the place where people go to release their new products and get upvotes, et cetera, to get hype about it. Well, Product Hunt just released their Golden Kitty Awards for 2022, and the product that won number one best developer tool is pretty exciting. Let's check it out. What's up, everyone? My name is James C. Quick, and I do weekly videos about web development related topics. And this web development ecosystem is absolutely exhausting. I never have enough time to try out all the platforms and tools and things that I would like to, but when I get the opportunity to do that, I love to do it for my own enjoyment, but also getting to share that with you. So I'm here today to talk about the tool that won best developer tool on Product Hunt in 2022, which is AppRite. Now AppRite is a 100% open source alternative to Firebase. You've probably heard of Firebase or other alternatives. They do a lot of things for you. They have a database and authentication and other features to make building your applications on your end much, much easier because they take care of a lot of the not necessarily hard stuff, although some of it is, but a lot of the boilerplate stuff. Every application, you're gonna need database, you're gonna need interactions, you're gonna need authentication, you're gonna need real-time data, et cetera. These platforms, specifically in this case, app, case AppRite, just take care of that stuff for you. It makes it so much easier and better to build applications. Now, I wanna clarify, this video is sponsored by AppRite, but I only do sponsor videos for products that I'm already very excited about. And if you don't believe me, this is the perfect opportunity to do a sponsor video about AppRite because the community has spoken for itself by voting it number one. You can see there's also some other very popular tools like Warp, and I'm a big fan of Fig on here. So for AppRite to beat those out and become number one developer tool is pretty amazing. So you can go if you want to and support this, you can go on Product Hunt and upvote it. But I wanna talk a little bit about how this impacts us building applications. Now, some people are kind of purists when it comes to building applications and considering themselves a developer where they wanna have full control over everything that they build and they wanna build everything from scratch. Let me be clear, that's not me. I'm looking for any tool that will make my process for building applications much, much easier. And AppRite 100% falls into that category. So you can kind of scroll through and look at the features and things. Again, the list here is, is pretty amazing. It takes care of your database. It also gives you access control so you can control who has access to what type of document and what type of interaction people should have access to, whether it's create, read, update, and delete. That obviously ties into the authentication system and users, so you don't have to build auth yourself. You don't have to build user management, etc. You also have access to storage, so think about if you create a a user and you want to have a headshot for the user or you want to build i've had an app idea for this in the past of building an application where we all show setups of our desk you could store all those images or other types of unstructured data inside of storage you can take advantage of functions in app right to run back in code in a secure and isolated environment to customize your app so you can do even more in there Bunch of cool stuff in here. The really, really cool thing is that you then get access to work with all this stuff from the front end using their JavaScript SDK. So you've got SDKs for different languages and frameworks. I do this obviously in the JavaScript ecosystem, but it makes interacting with all that functionality and set of features that they have much, much easier from the front end because it can take care of the back end stuff for you. Now, right now, AppRite requires you to install it somewhere on your own. So you can run it locally on your computer using Docker. You could also create an image in DigitalOcean or something like that, which you'll have to pay a few bucks a month for. But they are working on releasing in the near future their cloud platform where you can do all of this from their own dashboard and not have to manage any of that stuff yourself. So I've actually got early access. I'll be checking that out and I will be doing more videos on AppRite. So I'm curious, what kind of content would you like to see built with AppRite? What kind of things do you wanna learn about? Do you wanna learn about database and authentication? I would particularly like to do some stuff with real time data. I think that would be a ton of fun. Getting into serverless functions, what kind of stuff would you like to see? Let me know in the comments below and I can incorporate that in tutorials that we do in the future. Not to mention, if you're eagerly awaiting the release of the official cloud version of AppRite like I am, I will make sure to update you on that in this channel. So stick around for technical tutorials on how to build and integrate with AppRite, and then also announcement video when their cloud platform is ready so that you can go and check out and you can get up and running and building everything that you want. So that's the number one developer tool on, on uh, Product Hunt from the Hello Kitty Award. Hello Kitty? Not Hello Kitty. What is it called? Golden Kitty. 
Hello Kitty would be ironic. The Golden Kitty Awards from 2022. Again, the community speaks for itself. People love it. I'm really excited to be doing more content with AppRite. So let me know what sort of content you would like to see in the comments below. In the meantime, hope you have an amazing day and I'll catch you in the next video.